9to5photoshoptips.com. Today we're going to show you how to colorize an image using the desaturate and working with some layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how we're going to be working with this photo of these two girls. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to take this image and uh, uh, remove all of the color from that. So the first thing we want to do, and I'll bring over the the channels panel here is I want to select the channels go down to the blue channel go down to the blue channel and once that's done you'll notice that it has a really nice black and white to it you don't want to use the red and you don't want to use the green either one of these but select the blue once that's done you want to come into the image you want to select the mode and go to grayscale and this is going to ask you if you want to dis, uh, uh, discard the red, green, blue, uh, the red, and the green, you say yes. So it'll just basically just take you back to a gray. You want to go back to layers, and when you're done there, you want to take this image and you want to go back to RGB color. Okay, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and save that, that image. And we're going to save this as girls walking down the road, black and white. Okay, once that's saved, we're going to go ahead and open back up the color image that we had. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a copy of this image and drop it onto the top of of the black and white. So we want to go to the move tool and we want to hold down the shift key and just click and drag that over. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a new copy of that only it's going to lay it on the top in the exact position. So uh, so now we have two layers, a layer one and a background layer. So I'm going to double click on the background layer and we're going to name this black and white. And then on this layer one I'm going to double click on that and rename that color. So we have black and white and we have color. Now currently the color layer is sitting on top of the black and white. We're going to drag that down so that the black and white is on top of the color. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to add a mask to the black and white layer which is located um, right next to the FX. So when we do that it's going to put a chain and also um, show you the the mask for that actual layer. And with that, what's great about that is we can take the brush and we can just work with two colors, black and white. And so we can color on here if we make a mistake, we can just switch that over so that we're working with white and we can remove that. So it makes it really, really easy. We're not destroying any of the image. We're actually just working with with a, a mask. So basically you just go through here and color your image over the mask. If you make a mistake, switch it over to the white and color with the white and that will bring back the black and white and remove the color. So I'm going to just put this on pause for a second show you what the finished product looks like. And there you have it. You have an image now that is in a nice colorized black and white. Very, very simple to use, and uh, you can make modifications to it uh, again and again. So, hope you enjoy this.